Hello, and welcome back to Pathologic Classic HD. Today, we will finish off day one. So, <clears throat> on our last adventure into this sordid little town, we discovered that Isidore Barach, my colleague and doctor friend, was dead, alongside Simon Kane, the supposedly immortal man that I came here to study. After dealing with the various different ruling families, I found out that uh, things weren't really going well for me. I'm going to try and sleep off my worries. Which does leave me quite hungry. As we can see here, my hunger meter has gone up quite a bit, so I should probably start eating something. Let's see, how about an egg? I'll do. And some vegetables. This is a truly nutritious meal right here. A cracker and, uh, no, I don't want to eat the peanuts, I can trade them. And some milk. Yeah, that'll do. So it's now nightfall. Should probably make sure I have a, a gun at hand. Night in this town is not quite as nice as day. For various reasons. Night is when the nasty people come out. Fortunately, none of these folks seem to be particularly bad guys. However, the occasional bandit or robber will just appear out of nowhere. Ah. Actually, this door was the door I was supposed to go into. Hello there. Right. Perhaps I should buy some more food. Oh, wonderful. Not too much at all. Mm, I could perhaps sell them some alpha tablets. I'm going to be using these for a little while, so why not? I think that seems like a decent enough plan for the moment. Because food here is currently quite cheap. I guarantee by the morning it will not be quite so easy. So, the town theatre should probably pay it a visit, now that night has fallen. Hmm. It's becoming a bit more stormy as well. Perhaps things are... Uh, Getting close a little bit worse for wear. But it's not too bad yet. Things seem relatively okay. Dogs barking as they do. Ah. Whilst we have a moment, I will see if I can try and get up one of these stairways to heaven. See if I can show you what lies at the top. That's just a drunk man, but it's difficult to tell sometimes between drunks and the thugs that are out to get me. Do you hear that? That is what lies at the top of the tower. Crying babies. At least unhappy children. There is a reason behind that, which you will find out eventually. But not yet. For now it's just a rather strange effect. Perhaps we should make our way to the theatre. Breaking whatever bins we can find along the way. Have 
Ouais. Euh, hmm. The food shop. I'm perhaps. Oh dear. That's not what I meant to do at all. I'm perhaps being a little bit quick to buy up food supplies. But I have a bad feeling that everything tomorrow is going to be a lot more difficult to come by. I'm going to sell my scalpel, because I won't use my scalpel to, to put it in short terms. Hmm. I wonder which food items would be best to buy. Each item does have a different level of hunger which it quenches. I think I'll just leave it at that for now. It's probably for the best. The rest of these I'll just leave be. Things have gotten too dangerous at night yet, which is reassuring. As with any large city, it is advisable to at least watch your back at night. If nothing else, then just to give you a sense of security and confidence. Ah, town theatre. Here we are. Let's see what we can uncover here. Hopefully we won't run into any trouble along the way. But our nightly bin raking must commence and continue beforehand, of course. What time is it now? 22.41. Must be nearly time for the play. The plays in this game come on each midnight. I don't pretend to fully understand exact nature of the mold. But they are part of the general meta of this game. This is indeed the stage which we walked upon and saw. Yes. And this is Mark Immortal. The All of today is a grand rehearsal. The owner of the stage. The theatre welcomes the distinguished audience at any time. There's a performance of the masks every evening and the blood gets rinsed off every night. The rest of the time slots are filled with a puppet show, but that's not all we have. Magic tricks, fortune telling, dream reading, whoever has eyes, let them see. Is this a theatre? It's rather small. True, this is a chamber theatre, and since I have the pleasure of being the booking agent, director, and impresario around here, I can also tell you that our shows are not for everyone's eyes. When is the next performance? That is for you to decide. You are part of the lineup. The play script is not yet complete, you see. Everything depends upon your actions. You won't have to wait long. When will this play script be approved? Your fate isn't bound yet. It will take time, effort, and of course your direct participation. Come to see us every evening. We'll show you how you're doing bit by bit. You are too talkative, sir. Presumably slightly too early to go to the stage just yet. Might have to do a little bit more night wandering and a bit more bin raking before I can properly go and see the play this evening. I do apologise if there is a sound disturbance in the background. Unfortunately, this is not the most ideal location to be running my Let's Play. But, hopefully it won't give too much of a problem on the recording. Hmm. Well, can wander down to the town park, I guess. See what else we can find in the bins. See if any... Anyone will trade me some more bandages. Is that 
actually doesn't have any, annoyingly, which is a little bit unfortunate. 2300 hours, day one. We should probably be careful. At the point where it turns midnight, things will start to change. But we, we're not going to worry too much about it just yet. Ah, some more water bottles. Always a handy thing to have around. Hmm. Another food shop. If they have anything very cheap, I might try and purchase it. Which they do. Dried meat. Always handy to have. Fresh meat. Not so much, but well, that's okay. Rations. So I've got four dried meat, two pieces of bread, two dried fish, some fresh fish, some fresh meat, and some general other assorted items. Hmm. I don't want to stray too far from the theatre just in case. So I might start to wander back up. Nearly 15 minutes of in-game time have passed already, so let's keep walking. It has been commented by people before that Pathologic is, in many ways, a town walking simulator. They aren't incorrect. Hey, drunk man. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme give a bandage. Oh, he doesn't have anything either. Might well have just been the same guy. To be honest, I do start to lose track of him after a little while. There aren't too many NPCs in town. As we can see, Eve's original speech from when we first met her is proved correct. There aren't actually that many criminals in the town at all. There's nobody around that's out to get me. There's nobody that thinks that I'm a bad guy at all. Or there's nobody that's trying to kill me to steal my various food, items, money, or anything else. It's always handy to know. However, there's a few other things that we could probably acquire first. One quite neat thing that I do like about Pathologic... Oh, that's a letter. A letter from a colleague in Fanatica. Daniil, I'm writing this in a hurry, so do forgive the uncustomary brevity. The powers that be are closing in on us. They persecuted us before, as you know, but now they are set to, set to utterly exterminate us. We may yet be able to pers persevere, but you, my friend, are in grave danger. It's almost as if your destination was chosen to be the site of your the site of your burial. They say that there is some kind of disease in the town, the most lethal variety, perhaps plague itself. I have little doubt that the powers that be have set up your whole journey. Talman, that Vernon, wants to get rid of you more than he wants to cease the outbreak. I wouldn't be surprised if it transpires that there are no medical personnel whatsoever in the town. They will use it as a pretext to delegate the whole mess of it to you. If this is the case, I urge you to keep out of trouble. Stay safe, Daniel. Wait for the sanitary teams. They will arrive sooner or later. Please take care, my friend. If they tell you to engage the plague by yourself, refuse it, even if your principles enjoin you to do otherwise. Our research is what matters the most, and we will not be able to go on with it if you are dead. Yours, A. I have a few colleagues in my old lab who are at least trying to look out for me, which is quite nice. Though I feel that they might be a little bit too late at this point. Oh, still a little bit of time to go. But yes, one of the interesting things about Pathologic that I quite like is the fact that it does require you to sleep and eat. But you don't need to necessarily do that in any regular sense of the word at all. I. I've just slept for six hours from 3 p.m. in the afternoon until 9 p.m. in the evening for no discernible reason, as far as anyone else can tell. 
Mainly it was just a waste of some time. Do hurry up. Whilst we're waiting for this theatre to open up and show us our play for the day, I'll discuss a little bit about the theatre. The theatre itself is one of the more meta areas of the game. As we saw at the very start, the three characters were players on the stage, and in many ways, Mark Immortal at least seems to believe that we are still players. I don't know if uh, in Russian the phrase player as in actor and player as in player of the game are the same word, however, I quite like that that's how it translates in English. It's rather poetic at least. It's nearly time. to inspect what other items of clothing I have. I only have gloves. I might take them off for now, actually. As you can see on this, all items do have their own durability, and the more they are used, the more they'll wear down. Unfortunately for things like clothing, it means that it just wears down constantly. All the time that you're wearing it. Which, generally speaking, means that I don't tend to wear the extra clothing too much. The day is over. Your timely efforts allowed your supporters to remain unharmed. A new mind performance is being rehearsed at the theatre. Well, that should be interesting then. Shall we go in and see what it says? A letter. The body is isolated. Bachelor, the body has been isolated as far as I know. Reuben conducts the examination of it. Nevertheless, keeping your mind in your discovery, I would advise you to seek me in the rod first thing tomorrow morning. There is a matter of crucial importance that we need to discuss. Alexander Sabatov. Well... Today, the killer was identified. Its nature turned out to be completely unexpected. The enemy is found and named. It's called the Sand Pest, the Contagious Plague is threatening to ruin everything here. How can a killer like this be punished? How can a villain like this be struck? He can't. It's impossible. By pulling a knife on it, you'll just cut an innocent body. I think I should go. Nothing to be done here anyway. You should go. Go then. Wherever you please. Shoo. So the first play is done. We find very few ungrateful people when we are able to confer favors. The three heads of the dragon are facing three different directions. Three powerful families, three clans are overturned by the wind. The wind got in through the breach torn by Simon's death. How will they cope? Will they be able to come to an agreement? The masks do not know the answer to that question. And who does? The masks are two, but the families are three. I suspect the extra family is just that, an extra. It is superfluous. Someone will have to let go of their power before their fellow men remember a different art of letting. Letting it go to their head? Bloodletting. Fading into non-existence voluntarily is still better than perishing under the pressure put on you by implacable foes, wouldn't you agree? I wouldn't. People are supposed to fight to the very end. The theatre remains interesting. Shut up! 
That was a thug. I'm going to save my game and attempt to see this thug. Perhaps vanquish him. He had a fair amount of gold upon this person. However, I have still expended a bullet, and I don't have all that many of those. The next letter opens. The letter from the powers that be. Bachelor Dankovsky, by what seems to be a very lucky coincidence, you have found yourself under a town that is wrought by some very worrying occurrences. Reportedly, there is an outbreak of dangerous disease in the vicinity. There is also an opinion that the outbreak is a falsification staged deliberately for the purpose of concealing a murder. In consideration of your outstanding analytical capability, we delegate the investigation to you. If there is an epidemic, it must be halted by any means necessary. You should collect as much information as you can, we suppose, and then make a decision in line with your own professional ethics and moral beliefs. In order to implement your strategy, an Inquisitor endowed with unrestricted authority will shortly arrive to join you. In the event that you are unable to curb the outbreak before their arrival, all power of the situation will be reassigned to them. P.S. It has come to our attention that you have recently requested permission to continue with your own research. The decision of whether or not such permission will be granted depends on the results of this assignment. Your success, therefore, has a bearing on your scientific reputation and your further academic career. Professor Tellman. Well. Tellman is kind of an asshole. So, Alexander wished to see me. However, there are perhaps some other people that I might go and visit on the way. So, with that, I shall pause this recording here and see you anon.